Hello students, welcome back. In this part, we will start off our discussion with population. Uh, so here mainly we will discuss about the population attributes. And the population attributes, they include birth rate, uh, which is also known as um, natality, uh, death rate, which is also known as mortality. We will also discuss about the population density, sex ratio, and age distribution. And we will see the major characteristics which affect the population growth. So let's start. So let's start with the population. Uh, in the population, we will discuss uh, first some of the population attributes which include uh, birth rate, uh, which is also known as natality. Then you have, after birth rate or natality, you have population density. Then the death rate or mortality, sex ratio and age distribution. Uh, so first we will discuss about the birth rate or the natality. It refers to the average number of young ones produced by birth, hatching or germination per unit, uh, per unit time. In case of humans, it is commonly expressed as the number of births per thousand individuals in a population per year. The maximum birth rate of a species can achieve under ideal condi environmental condition and this is known as potential natality. But the actual birth rate under the existing condition is much less and it is termed as the realized natality. Uh, so the realized natality is always less than the potential natality. <coughs> then Next potential, uh, sorry, population attribute you have is death rate or mortality and it is the average number of individuals that die per unit time. Uh, in humans, it is commonly expressed as the number of death per thousand individuals in a population per year. Lowest death rate for a given species in most favorable condition is known as potential mortality. Uh, but the actual uh, death rate being observed in existing condition is called realized mortality. So this is just opposite to natality. Realized mortality is always more than the potential mortality. The death rate of a population can be easily represented by a curve known as survivorship curve. Uh, in this curve, the time is plotted against the number of survivors and there are three kinds of survivorship curves. Diagonal curve, convex curve and the concave curve. Uh, so, all these three types of curve, they are shown in this uh, diagram. So, uh, the type 1 curve is the convex curve. Type 2, uh, sorry, type 2 is the diagonal curve. And type 3 is the concave curve. Uh, so, in the first curve, that is the diagonal curve, uh, the example is of the hydra. So, in the diagonal curve, the organisms of different age group, they have equal death rate. So, uh, this curve is represented or plotted as a straight line. Therefore, it is a diagonal curve. Whereas, in the convex curve, uh, the example of the convex curve includes uh, human beings, many mammals also. Uh, so in this curve, uh, organism, it first completes its potential life span and then it dies in the old age. Uh, so in that case, the curve is a convex type. Then the third curve, that is the concave curve and its examples include um, fishes, oyster etc. Uh, so in this curve uh, what happens is the organisms they die before completing their potential lifespan. So these are the three types of survivorship curves. 